Mexico City and we're here to eat. This Mexico City series is all about sharing with you the city's best food. You could eat your way around Mexico City for years and still barely scratch the surface. This city is paradise for people who love to eat. This is our first video from Mexico City and it's all about tacos. Watch out for El Pastor, the city's most popular taco, succulent carnitas from a butcher's shop and loads more. In this huge Mexico series, we're hunting down the country's best food, from iconic street snacks to food from Mexico's most exciting markets. You don't want to miss this series. Get ready for some mouth-watering food. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena, and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. This is the first video in what is going to be a massive series that we're filming in Mexico and we are so excited to dedicate this first video to one of the ultimate street foods here in Mexico and that is the taco. Now we are going to be travelling all around Mexico City to find the best tacos and also share with you some of our favourites. So we're here at our first stop, we're here at a local market, the Mercado Medellin and we are here for carnitas. Now carnitas are all about pork and we're hunting down a butcher's shop that only serves carnitas on a Saturday. Hola, buenos dias. Oh. This is the butcher's shop and they're famous for serving up carnitas every Saturday. We, I can see that pile of pork right up here, so let's go. Gracias, señor. You've got this big pile of pork in front of us. So carnitas are basically pork which is cooked in its own fat. So it's sort of confit style. And you can get all sorts of parts of the pig. So offal, um, the lean meat, the stomach, the fatty meat. And you can just uh, opt for the type of meat that you want and make up your taco. Uh, dos tacos, por favor. Uh, un, ta uh, un taco de castilla, castillo. Cosrio y un taco de pancita, por favor. Muchas gracias. So I've ordered two tacos. One is the pancita, which is the uh, pork belly, and then I've also ordered a costillo, which is the rib. Muchas gracias. Now I can actually see a lady at the back um, who is making the tortillas to order, which is incredible. I've got my two tacos here. So this is the taco de Castillo, which is the rib taco, and then the pancita, which is the pork belly. And you can see all of that beautiful fat there. Now with tacos, you always get a range of salsas to put on. And it's basically help yourself. There's a whole heap here. So we've got some guacamole, um, there's a red salsa, so a salsa roja, there's limes, there's pico de gallo, which is like a raw chopped salsa, quite chunky, a salsa verde, and then some coriander, some onion, some cactus, leaf and onion, which I already said. So what you do is you just load up however you like your taco to taste. So I'm going to grab some lime, put that on the side, and then I think some of these onions, which have got habanero chili in them. So I'm going to put the onions onto the pork uh, belly because that'll be quite rich and I think that the onions will cut through the fattiness. Maybe some cilantro too. All right, stick that on there. And then I really love pico de gallo, which is this chunky salsa. So I'm going to stick that over the rib meat. And then I'm going to add a few drops of the salsa verde, which is a green salsa made up of tomatillo, which are green tomatoes. Oh, this pork belly is calling my name. So what I'm going to do is just stick some oh, lime over the top, moisten it up a bit. All right, look at all of that meat on there. So meat, fat, and then the skin, which is a little bit gelatinous. Okay, time to get this into my mouth. Oh, it's hefty. Is 
melt in your mouth. It's got great texture because you've got the meat which is tender and then you've got the even softer fat which just dissolves in your mouth and then you've got the layer of skin which is like a little bit gelatinous. Oh, that is so good. The onions do the trick. They cut through the richness of the meat and they have a bit of a ting to them because they've got habanero. Oh, this is good. Right, let's get a taste of this rib. So it's got the rib meat um, and I chucked on some pico de gallo. So pico de gallo is this chunky salsa. So it's got onion, it's got coriander, it's got uh, tomato and it's got chili. And then also some drops of that salsa verde. So the green salsa and it's made up of uh, green tomatoes and coriander and chili. Okay. There's a lot of um, sort of leaner meat in this one because it's the rib meat, so less fatty than the pork belly. Mmm. 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 The flavour in that pork is unreal. So it's leaner than the pork belly, of course. There isn't that fatty layer, but it's got a great flavor. And I really like the chunky bits of the tomato that offer a really uh, great burst of freshness. And then that salsa verde has a real chilly kick. And this is the ultimate street food. We're standing in a local market. You've got this uh, butcher here. So this butcher is the one that makes the carnitas and you've got these huge pieces of chicharron, which is fried pork skin. And you're just standing right in amongst the market and it is so atmospheric and it's fun. This is the way to enjoy tacos. <laughs> the signori has offered us a bit of chicharron, so a bit of uh, fried pork skin and it will add to the crunch of the tacos. Oh, there's nothing like fried pork skin. It is so crunchy and you can really taste that fatty flavour. Our next stop is for some fish tacos, some of our favourite in the city. But before that, we just want to say thanks to the sponsor of this video, Safety Wing, who offer travel medical insurance. We were just in Turkey and Sheena ended up in hospital, had a really big operation and without insurance we would have been in such big trouble. What we love about Safety Wing is that they're really affordable. So it's $37 for four weeks and if you're travelling in the US it's $68. You can also buy the insurance when you're not in your home country, which particularly for people like us, digital nomads is a really Plus. They also offer limited home coverage, so for every three months that you buy you get up to 30 days of home coverage and if you're from the US you get 15 days. So if you want more information check out the YouTube description below, there's also a link for which you can use to buy Safety Wing Travel Insurance, off to find some tacos. This next place is somewhere we absolutely love, so it's more of a restaurant this place, but we have to come here every time we come to Mexico City. The tacos are incredible and they specialize in Marlin tacos, which is a pretty interesting combination. Hola, buenos dias. Uh, un queso tote, por favor, and un taco cote, por favor. Look at the fish and the chilies being deep fried in that vat of oil. Oh, the golden brown is super crispy looking. The first thing that really stands out with these tacos is the size. I'll talk you through what we've ordered in a minute, but check out all the sides you can get. So, toppings I mean. So this is even more extensive probably than the last place. You've got a sort of a standard slaw there. We've got some beautiful pickled onions. We've got some fresh onions with some peppers. We've got some pica pagalo again. We've got some raw cabbage over here. Some limes, you'll always find limes. And then we've got four different salsas. So all will be varying degrees. And you can just load up your tacos any way you want. There's also a bunch of sauces. Actually, look at all the sauce they have down here. So this lineup of sauce and you can pick anything so there is many many options for what you want to do with your tacos when you're here. I really like the coleslaw on top so we'll go a blob of that. Now the tacos here are massive as you can see so I don't want to go too much on there. 
I really like the onions as well because they add a nice tang and obviously some limes. You've got to have limes when you have tacos, so we'll load up a lot of limes and then we'll get some salsa on there as well. I really like this dark one, so it's often a little bit smoky in flavor, so we'll get some of that onto both of those. We've gone with two of our favorites when we come here. So the thing that really stands out is this marlin. So they use this in quite a lot of their dishes and it's smoked marlin. So it actually, it almost looks like pork. It's so pink. But this one is, you can see in there the green. So it's got uh, peppers, but the peppers stuffed with marlin and deep fried. You can see a bit of that skin. So he chops it up um, and breaks it all up to go on the taco. And then it's covered in the marlin. And then there's also some deep fried prawns on there. So you can see the little prawn and then there's the toppings that I've put onto it. And then we've also gone with the other deep fried pepper one, but this one is stuffed with cheese. I'll just pull that aside a bit. Look at all the cheese in there. So exactly the same, but instead of adding the marlin in it, it's got cheese. This one also has the prawns or little shrimps on top. And then the toppings that I've added. And these are absolutely massive tacos. So actually we've got to get the lime on. So we'll get some lime all over the top of them. Oh, that is a really juicy lime, beautiful. And we'll go with this marlin stuffed pepper one. Whoa, how am I gonna do this? This is crazy. Hang on, we've gotta stuff it in a bit. This is truly massive, absolutely massive. There's no way I can do this in a tidy manner. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah, napkin. Mm. Wow. Oh, that is so good. A really smoky flavor from the marlin. But because it's fish, even though it's so huge, it's quite light, so it's not too heavy to eat. That salsa roja that I put on, the red salsa is really smoky as well, but it's also nice and spicy, a really sharp spice. Let's get some, there's some pepper down here. Mm. Oh man. Wow. Ooh. The pepper is super sweet. It's been cooked through really nicely. So it's still got a tiny, tiny bit of crunch in it, but it's soft and sweet and juicy. And that marlin is unreal. It's so tasty. Okay, let's get this cheese and pepper one. And I love this taco. They do it so well. You can see actually there's uh, multiple tortillas. So it's pretty common to get two tortilla here and that's because it will just break up otherwise, especially with the size of these. So if there was one tortilla, you'd pick it up, the bottom would rip and everything would just fall out. So they put two to just give it a bit more structural integrity. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is so good. The pepper's a bit crunchier in this one. That cheese gives it a nice um, creamy taste. Mmm. 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 I got a whole lot of shrimp that time. So, sweetness again, exactly the same. Cooked perfectly. I love how different these are. They are such good tacos. They're wildly good. Now this is our first video from this trip to Mexico and this is going to be a huge food series from Mexico. But we wanted to start with just tacos, so a bit different for our videos. We don't normally do the same style of food all the way through one video, but this time we thought why not because for one it's pretty much the backbone of Mexican cuisine, I mean arguably, and it's one of those ones that everyone knows, it's famous all around the world. So we wanted to show you some of the best tacos, some of our favorite tacos, and there is just so many varieties. We figured they're so different that it would be great to show them to you all in one video. So this is some of our favorite places and there's some new ones where we haven't eaten, like where we started this morning but really heavily researched so that we could find you the best tacos in Mexico City. Our next stop is actually just over the road and they specialize in tacos de guisados, stew tacos. And what I really love about this spot is that they have something like 20 stews to choose from in which you can uh, put into your tortilla and make up into a taco. It's real comfort food. Let's go and grab a couple. 
come a little bit late in, in the day. It's actually just early afternoon, but they've sold out of a lot of their stews. There's something like two, four, six, eight, 24 stews normally, which you can choose from, and they're all actually cooking up here. So you can see the food that can go into your tortilla. Um, I think what we're gonna order is chorizo con papa, which is uh, chorizo sausage with potatoes, and then chicharron and salsa sounds pretty good too, which is the uh, crispy pork cracklings cooked with salsa. Si. So what the staff will ask is whether uh, you want rice with it. So we've got rice and also with the um, chorizo you can get beans and also cheese. So we went for all of the toppings. And then where's the salsa? Right here in front of me. So I've got some salsa rahi here. So I'm going to add some of the red salsa onto the chorizo one. All right. It looks pretty fiery so I might hold off and then we'll try and get some lime. All right, I'm going to load up some pickled onions onto the chicharron uh, taco and then let's head outside and dive into these. What I love about these stew tacos is they're basically like being able to sample home cooking in a taco. So this one here is the chorizo and it's got the beans and then the cheese which she added on top. I've popped some salsa roja or the red salsa on there as well and I think it's got potato too. And this one here is the chicharron. So chicharron is pork cracklings but it's been cooked right down so it's got to be sort of soft and sticky. And then. He's added some uh, rice and then the pickled onions I've popped on top. So I'm going to stick some lime over this and then let's get a taste. I think I'm going to go for the chicharron first. So double tortilla like with the fish tacos so that they don't fall apart. All right. Mmm. Whoa. That has got so much flavour. It really burst with a tomato hit. Really tangy. And the chicharron is so soft. Let's get another mouthful of this chicharron and then also some of that pickled onion. Mmm. It's so moist and juicy. And that rice gives it a little bit of texture. All right, let's get into this chorizo con papa. So, chorizo and potato with the beans and cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. I love this. It's a completely different flavor profile to the chicharron. This is spicy. It's tangy. And the cheese is so creamy. It adds a great texture. What I love about uh, this one here, the chicharron, it's probably my favorite, is that, first of all, it's pork skin. I love pork skin. But what's great is being able to eat it in a different style. So cooked right down, compared to the crispy um, chicharron that we ate at the market the other day. I think though it needs a little uh, kick of spice, so I'm just gonna head for the salsa verde. All right, so add some spice to the chicharron. All right, I think that's gonna give me a good uh, chili kick. So we've added some blobs of uh, salsa verde. So that's the green salsa, which is made up of uh, green tomatoes. So the tomatillos, and then it's got some coriander and chili in there as well. Should add a bit of, kick, of a kick. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, it ramps things up in the heat department. That was a really good addition. Now, it wouldn't be a Mexico City taco video if we didn't share El Pastor tacos with you. El Pastor is arguably the most popular taco to eat in Mexico City, and we've come to our favorite place in the city to eat El Pastor. Now, El Pastor is all about that, that huge trombo of pork meat. Let's come closer and I'll show you what we're talking about. 
So look how huge it is. So if you come early in the morning at around 10.30, you can watch them stacking the trompo. So it's just layers of uh, pork meat, which uh, are marinated in adobo. So all taquerias uh, adobo recipes vary, but they usually include vinegar, chili, uh, tomatoes, garlic, that type of thing. And that's what gives it the red color. And you can see that the meat has just been stacked super high and it's cooking on a vertical spit. And then up the top, you've got a piece of pineapple. So what um, the taquero does is he slices, thinly shaves the pastor meat onto the tortilla and then he whips a bit of pineapple off onto the tortilla and then he adds a few of the toppings, so onion and cilantro and then you've got your El Pastor taco to eat. Let's go in and order. All right, so I've got a plate of five al pastor tacos. So we've added everything. So onion, cilantro, the pineapple, and then the thinly shaved al pastor meat. Now, what this plate of tacos is missing is the salsa. So let's head on inside. And just like before, you can help yourself to all of the salsas. So we've got the pico de gallo, we've got a salsa roja, so a red salsa, and then the salsa verde, which is rapidly disappearing. So let's grab this uh, salsa roja. This is gonna be eaten by Thomas, and I know that he's partial to this smoky red salsa. He really likes the bitterness that comes from the smoked chilies. So a dollop of that on each of those. Sheena knows me very well, so she's gone with the right salsa for me, so that salsa, salsa roja, oh, that is a juicy lime, so a whole lot of lime on there. Now, something I really love about El Pastor is its simplicity. So you can see that these are tiny compared to what we've been having in this video so far. They're almost a, a one-bite taco. They're not quite a one-biter, but they're very simple, they're very basic, so just the meat, the onions and cilantro if you want that and the pineapple but a lot of people don't even have all of those things on there so it's a very basic taco and this place we absolutely love there's a lot of really famous places to get al pastor in mexico and overall there are thousands of places where you can get this dish it is the most common dish you'll find in mexico city as you're walking the streets we've eaten at all the ones that are rated right at the top but this one is one that we stumbled across one day and it blew our minds. It's incredibly good. And look how big that trompo is. And that's a really good sign that it's a good place. So the bigger the stack of meat, the better the place generally, because they have to sell that. If they don't sell it, they're throwing it away. They're throwing it away, they're losing money. So you can trust the size of the trompo. So I've got the lime all over there. Let's just dive in. Look at that. So it's such an easy hold compared to what we've had so far. Mm. Oh man, mmm, yum, so good. Just like I've been saying about how basic it is, that totally translates to the flavor. You can really taste that meat. You've got the onion with that nice little crunch and little zing of onion. You can taste the coriander. The pineapple gives a burst of sweetness and juice. Oh, mmm. Wow, that was good. Mm. So well put together. Sometimes with this dish, um, it can have not too much flavor, but this is perfectly marinated. The seasoning is perfect. The smokiness is perfect from being cooked on that um, trompo. And what is super interesting about this dish is the meat. So you probably recognize that style of cooking. It's very common all over the world. And that style came to Mexico from the Lebanese. When they came here in the 1900s, that is how they cooked their lamb. Lamb wasn't widely used here, but pork was. So the Mexicans took it and transformed it into their own style. So they took the technique of cooking and they turned it into this insanely good dish. This has got to be one of the world's best dishes. I love al pastor.